welcome or welcome back. Uh, we will be continuing with the, the Christmas llama and we're going to actually start with the body of the llama. So I just cut out number 36, which is the next one. And we're going to do two strands of, I believe, light blue. Yep. Okay. So we're going to do embroidery on the little scallops here. And it's um, an outline stitch. And I will show you how to do one and then you can do the rest. And then for the beads, it looks like we're using white. Yep. So we're going to do white beads and sequins, which you already know how to do. If you haven't watched the previous video, I would highly recommend that. <laughs> and um, all right, let me grab some thread and let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to do an outline stitch on a scallop edge like this. So when it looks like this is called a scallop. So we're going to grab two strands of light blue. And we're going to start, since I'm right handed, I'm going to start on over here. And we're going to start on this, uh, this one right here. So we're going to bring up on the back. And we're going to do the outline stitch as normal. Remember the outline stitch does curve. It has, it has a tendency to curve. So you use that to your advantage to cover the stamp. And the smaller the stitches, the um, shorter curve, like the, the more tighter the curve you can get. This one's not so bad. I have done tighter curves before. But if you want to preserve the scallop, like the point right here, I'll show you how to do that. It's actually pretty simple. This is a great, um, a great stitch to do for like, like if you're doing a Santa beard. I've done that several times. Okay, so we're coming up to the edge. I'm doing my last stitch. And now I'm actually going to come down here. Just a little bit past where I came. And I'm going to technically end here. I'm going to end it right there. Okay, so instead of knotting it and starting over, I'm actually going to um, reposition my, my needle and I'm gonna position it on this side of the stitch. And it's gonna cross over and keep that scalloped edge, the dip, nice and pointed. See how that looks pointed now? And we're gonna keep going. It's amazing what one little position change can do to your stitches. Just by positioning it differently, you don't have to knot it and start over. You can just keep going. Just make sure you don't accidentally pull a stitch out. I've done that on accident before. Coming up to the end here. And the exact same thing. We're going to put our needle down and actually end the stitches. There we go. See how easy that was? I'll show you the back. Here's what the back looks like. And every time we are finished stitching, we knot in the back to secure our work. And I like to hide my tail. It's a it's a habit I got from cross stitching many years ago. <laughs> okay, perfect. And that is how you create a scalloped edge with an outline stitch. Next, we get to applique the body of the llama onto the stocking. So um, I, I forgot to grab my thread. So we're grabbing white thread since we're gonna be using a white felt. And start anywhere, but um, I'm just going to pick, oops, probably right here to start. So notice how the stamp kind of doesn't quite match up. That's okay. Um, I'm going to end up, I can just like use the tip of my needle and kind of rub away the stamp a little. Oops. 
Yeah. See how that kind of disappears? So we're just gonna sandwich the knot in between the two pieces of felt and go all the way around and applique. Now, um, with a big piece like this, overstuffing is very easy to do. So let's try not to overstuff. Um, I'm gonna probably start here and then probably go around to here, add some stuffing, keep going, stop here, probably add some more stuffing, and then um, work my way around this way. So it's just, you know, stop every once in a while and add stuffing as you go. Um, I'm trying not to put too much in there, so. So I'm just gonna go all the way around. And once I get to a good stopping point, I'll come back and we'll start stuffing the llama. And once the llama's stuffed, we get to add the cute little tail. So I'm gonna come back and we'll start stuffing. I went a little farther than I thought I was gonna go, so I started here and I actually stopped here. And it really um, gave the llama a good secure stitch. So I'm gonna take these out, stick them over here. And we're gonna start stuffing. So I grabbed some stuffing. And I'm gonna start with the body. And this is just, this is little bits at a time. So I'm going to constantly push it down because you don't need much. But I do want to make sure I hit all the little bumps so that the llama looks like it's got some depth to it. I hit the edges just right then I don't have to stuff so much in the middle. I'm going to take a chunk of this, spread it with my fingers, place it inside. I think that's pretty good. I just need to get some more for the head here. By spreading it out, you won't get any weird lumps as you're stuffing, because that is possible. <gasps> Excuse me. This part will be covered up, so I'm not too worried about it being like really, really stuffed. But I'm just getting the edges. As I'm pushing it down, I can feel where I need to add more, like right here, by the neck. Okay, now as I close it, I will be pushing it down. So let me grab those pins. See if I can find the stamp. Make sure I'm covering the stamp. And I'm going to go, as I go, I am going to determine if I need more or less stuffing. So far, this looks really good. Um, I don't want it to be like, you know, beefy stuffed. So um, I'm going to continue closing the llama up and I might add a little more stuffing up here and I might add a little more in the neck and possibly along the edge here. So when we come back, we're going to start on the tail which goes right here now that the llama body is done i'm just working on the tail so it's just two pieces bean sequin and then more stuffing so here's the stuffing and i'm just closing it up now 
And then we're going to attach the tail to the body. And since I have enough thread, I can probably use the thread that's already on here. Okay, so we might need to use more thread, but I can at least get it somewhat attached. Let me grab a Let me grab a clip here. Alright, so now we have the clip in place. It's a little bit finicky, but I got it. I'm going to start applicating it right on top. I'm definitely gonna need more thread, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna um, knot it right here and then grab some more thread and then attach the tail, finish attaching the tail. And then once we're done with the tail, Once the tail's finished, let's see, we're going to work on the scarf. So embroider sequin and applique the star scarf to the fringe and then cut the lines on the fringe. So here is the scarf. So we're looking at Thirty-nine and forty and forty-one. Thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. So it looks like thirty-nine is one big piece. So let me find it. I think it's red. Okay, so here's piece number thirty-nine. Here's 41, there's 40, 40 must be the fringe. So it looks like the fringe is going to be a light blue color, or some type of blue. Looks like it's going to be a darker blue. Even though the picture shows a lighter blue, it looks like it's going to be a darker blue. So here's what we're actually working with. It's a little bit darker, so there's 40. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be doing a lot of satin stitching. Um, I would recommend cutting it out first. And it looks like we're gonna be doing satin stitch on the edge. So I will show you how to do that. Um, it is a little tricky, but it is doable. So I'm gonna cut this out, get the thread ready, and then we're gonna start doing some satin stitch on the edge. Satin stitch on the edge can be a little tricky, but not impossible so um, when they're on the edge like this I like to make my stitches long so that um, you're not constantly digging into the side right so because we're on a very edge on both sides here we're gonna come up down here and we're gonna lock in our, our um, knot right here I'm using two strands of aqua and we're going to bring our stitch like that. And be careful on the edge here. I'm kind of going in at a diagonal. Luckily this felt isn't too thin. Gonna weave back and forth, creating small gaps so that when we come back, we can just fill in the gaps. Okay. 
thankfully this felt is not thin. It's got a good weight to it. And if you're not familiar with a satin stitch, it's not going to be pretty. So give yourself some time to develop the skill. Even sometimes I look at my satin stitch and I'm like, no, that doesn't look very good. So we're coming up to the edge here. Trying to keep my stitches straight-ish. Now we're just going to fill it in. I'm going to try and pull on the felt a little bit so it doesn't get all bunched up. And we can slowly fill it in. Get as close to the edge as you can comfortably get. I might have to go back and add a couple stitches here and here. But I'm trying to get this edge filled in a little bit more. That's better. Luckily, I used the stamp to anchor my stitches too so not only does it cover the stamp but it also anchors my stitches I'm actually going to come back down here add another stitch here I think that looks pretty good it's not beautiful it's not perfect, but it gets the job done, so that's what matters. Try and round out. There we go. Hey, so not too bad. We're going to do that with every edge. And if you don't like the stamp showing, once you're done, knot it in the back here, like so. And then you can take your needle and kind of smooth it out. And you can actually take off the stamp if you want, so if that bugs you. But that's how you do a satin stitch on the edge of a piece of felt. Okay, now that we have that first one done, I'm going to show you. Let's see, there's two different colors here. So the, the aqua is this one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the aqua. And then this other color looks like it's pink. So we're going to do pink for the rest of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pink. Now, I noticed this on the picture. Um, whoever did this model made a, a circle, a stitched circle around each one. Um, I don't know if I like that or not, but I'm going to um, just go ahead and do regular satin stitches and see how it looks without that. Um, it doesn't have that in the instructions, so um, I'm just going to do the satin stitch and see how it looks, and then we'll go from there. Looks like they did it around the cheeks as well. I don't know, sometimes, um, especially if you're not very confident with your satin stitch, sometimes adding a very thin border around it makes it look more complete. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just determine once I'm done. So I'm going to do the rest of them. And... Once we're done with this piece, we're going to add the sequins, which look like red, and then um, we'll do the next step. Alright, the scarf is embroidered sequined, and it says applique scarf to the fringe, which I did. Here's the fringe. I used red to applique it, and then it says cut the lines on the fringe and gently spread them apart. So that's what I'm going to do. So 
like that. There's the fringe. And then it says applique the front of the scarf to the back and then attach the scarf to the llama, leaving the scarf tail unattached. So we're gonna um, put these two pieces together. And I decided that my, out, uh, my satin stitch didn't need a border, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. And I'm gonna put these two together. So once we do that, then I will show you how to applique it onto the llama. And then once this is on, then we get to do this um, scarf tail, same, same song and dance, embroider, sequin, add the little um, fringe at the end, and then cut the lines and then applique the tail to the back because there is a back part too. And then put that on the scarf on top of the llama. So when we come back, we'll um, attach that one as well. So it's gonna look really cute. So I managed to get the back on and now we get to apply the scarf onto the llama's neck. And uh, you can start anywhere. I'm gonna start probably, probably around here. I don't wanna start in the stuffing. I could possibly, I could even start here if I wanted. Um, let's get a good handle on your work here. I'm gonna just sandwich my knot in between the pieces. And we're going to just go all the way around and add stitches all the way around. Once we have this on, then we get to add the part that goes here. Basically rinse and repeat. Okay, I'm gonna keep going off camera. This might take a little bit. So I am going to um, attach it all the way. I'm going to probably stop here and leave the rest unattached. So I started here and I'm going to stop here. Um, I might add a few stitches here. Yeah, I might do that. Go all the way around and probably stop here. That way this is still, you know, um, loose and everything and it, it'll feel secure so when we come back um, we'll add the other part so of the I scarf. I went ahead and um, added the rest of the scarf it's pretty simple so I just um, embroidered from here to here left the rest hanging I might add I am thinking about adding some fray check on a couple of these dots just so that the stitches don't move so much I'm thinking about it. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. Okay, so now we get to work on the llama face. Cute little llama face. Um, let's see. Outline, or I'm sorry, uh, satin stitch for the cheeks. And looks like we're doing two strands of black for the eyes. And then we're going to do sequins and beads, so... Nothing we haven't done yet. Um, I think so far the scarf has been the most detailed. So, face shouldn't be too bad. We've already done a satin stitch for, for these, um, for the scarf and for the feet. And um, I'm just gonna do the black like we did with the body of the llama. And, and then I'll do the cheeks and then um, 
when we come back we I think there's a back to this so we have to add the back and I believe it is lightly stuffed yeah so embroider stuff applique and muzzle blah, blah, blah. okay so we're gonna do the embroidery on the face and then we're gonna add the muzzle and then applique the inside of the ears okay all right yep so we're gonna basically do the front everything on the front and then um, and then we'll uh, go from there so uh, when we come back, we're going to start on the muzzle. Here's the llama head so far. Um, it says in, in the instructions to insert the, the ear as you're putting it together, but I decided to actually applique it first to one side. That way I don't, I don't have to worry about it moving around too much. So I'm going to go ahead. So I just, um, this is satin stitch and outline stitch black. This The muzzle is a little bit stuffed. And then we're going to also stuff the head. Here's what the llama head looks like so far fix my camera here so there's front and back and you notice there is a stamp on the front and the back so now we get to work on the little hat which here is a good picture it gives you all the information you need pretty simple to put together we're starting with number 51 which is this one so we're gonna work off of this one just gonna take it off real quick that aside I'm gonna work off of 51 and it looks like it says sequin the front of the hat 51 so add the sequins embroider sequin and applique the stripes which are 52 and 53 right here and then Sequin and applique the front of the trim. So this is the trim, number 54. Applique the completed front of the hat to the back. Okay, once the hat's done, then we're gonna put it on the back, which is this one. And then we're gonna assemble the back. And the back looks pretty simple as well. So we're appliquing the trim, 56. Um, sequin and applique the pom-pom which is 57 and 58 and then we're gonna uh, looks like we're going to it says insert the tip of the hat in between the two layers you so, so okay it says place the completed hat on top of the llama and sew it in place attach the completed hat head to the body okay so it's interesting because from the diagram, it looks as if um, you're going to be like, you know, this will be on this side, and then we have this on this side. It's sandwiched in between, but it doesn't say that it's sandwiched. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna complete the hat first, get it to the point where we're gonna add the back, and see where we go from there. Um, I might just end up um, attaching the front first, and then the back. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to set this aside and we're going to just slowly assemble this hat, which is pretty simple. Um, it looks like the trim for 52 has little arrows. And the arrows are straight stitch, two red straight stitch. Straight stitch is fairly simple. What I might end up doing is attaching it onto the hat first and then adding the straight stitch just so it doesn't warp, but anyway. So let me grab some sequins and beads and start putting the hat together. Um, once I get to this, I will show you how I put it on, but yeah. All right, let's get started on the hat. To applique the piece first and then work on top of it. So as you can see, I added the embroidery on top um, after I applicate the piece. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to start at one end and then make sure I try and cover the stamp as best I can. It's not going to be perfect and I can always rub it off. It's not a big deal. I'm using two strands of red. And then once I'm done with the embroidery, I'm going to add the beads and sequins. And yes, I will go through both layers and that's not a big deal either. I 
And if the stamp bothers you, you can always rub it off. Ugh, stinky. <laughs> always getting caught. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna add the beads and sequins, and then um, I believe the next step is to add the pom pom. Like I jumped the gun a little bit. Um, I accidentally put red here instead of pink, though. So um, I fixed it. Luckily, it wasn't that hard of a fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these ones. I believe these are gold. Um, let me look real quick. So the picture shows gold. I believe that's gold. Um, let's see. If I look on actual chart yeah okay yep not it's yellow not gold but still yellow for the stripes here so I'm gonna put yellow um, on here on both stripes and then not quite to the pom-pom yet I was jumping the gun uh, we're gonna put the trim on so I'm gonna go ahead and add all the beads and sequins here and then cut it out and add it onto the hat. Let me get ahead on this trim so we can finish the hat and then we can assemble the hat. Look all over the instructions and it doesn't mention anything about stuffing the hat, which is interesting because, I mean, it's open. I might add just a little bit to keep the integrity I'm just surprised it doesn't say anything in this in this instruction. So I'm gonna grab some. I'm just gonna put enough in to give it that dimension, so it doesn't look like it's flat, you know. Okay, so now that the hat's done, here's the back of it. <clears throat> um. It says, sequin and applique the front of the pom-pom to the back, making sure to insert the tip right here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna grab the pom-pom and we're gonna attach it to the end of the hat. So I'm sewing this pom-pom on, I just wanted to show you. I just go through the, all the way through to the back. And I just catch, um, the felt back here. I'm just finishing up. Putting the last couple stitches in. And the pom-pom is not stuffed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. Of course, you had to get caught. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the pom-pom on, I'm just gonna um, hide the tail. And now we get to put the hat onto the llama's head, like that. So we're gonna take some clips. Let me grab a couple clips. And I want it to look like it's naturally sitting on, on a llama's head. Okay. So this white I'm keeping on um, to applique onto the stocking. Um, this pink one I'll take off and then I'm going to reposition the pink thread and start appliquing. Um, 
I might start in the back actually. Start back here, go all the way around, and finish in the back. So let me reposition my thread and I'll okay, be right I've back. I've got my needle, oops, <laughs> got my needle positioned how I want. I did a couple of stitches already. I'm just gonna continue doing stitches back here. And of course, my thread likes to pop out sometimes. I'm gonna move this over. Notice how I'm not going through the front. Okay, I don't want I don't want to go through the front. So I'm just picking up whatever is underneath. Now, once you switch over, then we're gonna go move to the front. So now we can start stitching up front. And just make sure that you're covering the stamp. And we're gonna put stitches in between all of the um, beads and sequins. And then once we're done, we'll do the next step. We're at the part where we're going to attach the llama's head to the stocking and I already started because it was hard to keep it like on camera <clears throat> but uh so the instructions say to attach the head and then leave the chin open so that's what I'm doing so I actually um I applique this side I ended it right around here and then I started up again right here and I'm right here now so I'm just finishing off with the white I am just grabbing the white underneath and attaching it to the white underneath it. And I'm going to go around the um, hat with a different color. So I'm going to end the white here and I'm going to grab, um, I'm actually going to grab some red. I'm going to skip over the pink because the pink is so little it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to grab some red and I'm going to apply uh, the red onto the stocking here. So I'm just gonna knot my work and go grab the red. And notice how I have not gone through the back. So you're adding stuffed pieces onto other pieces that are stuffed. I usually don't go through the back. I just kind of go around the edge. Let me grab the red real quick. All right, we're going to skip over the pink and go right into the red hat. Just going to sandwich my knot in between the red and the green. And when you're tacking stuff down, um, it's not an applique stitch, so you can go a little wider on your stitches. And since we'll be turning, this is a very sharp turn. I might end up going through the back just to make sure that um, it's nice and secure because this section isn't stuffed. This is just several layers of felt. So yeah, I'm going to go down like that, make sure the inside is secure, and then I'm going to come back up right around here. And I'm gonna keep adding stitches until I feel like it's nice and secure. So move it around how you need to. I'm gonna go to the back now and I'm gonna add some stitches to the back. So I'm gonna add some stitches back here like this. Just a couple, maybe three. Flip it over again, <clears throat> see where we land, and I'm just trying my hardest to cover up the stamp. So once we're done securing the llama's head, we'll be working on the cute little saddle that's on the llama. And so far, the instructions look pretty pretty similar to what we've been doing. So we can easily put that together. 
Okay, I'm going to finish this. So I only have this little bit to do. I'm going to leave the ear hanging freely and it'll be secured and then we'll start with the saddle. So I'm actually going to stop the video here because it's getting kind of long. So um, I will see you in my next video and we'll be finishing the llama and the front of the stocking and it's going to look so cute and I hope to see you there. I'll see you in my next one.